as an individual, I'm here to represent more than just that effort. So, please support our child schools, please support public education, but beyond that, let's all educate one another so that we can actually focus on moving forward instead of trying to just fix what's broken all the time. What we're going to share now is actually a hula that was composed and inspired by a tradition of learning, a tradition of productivity. This particular hula, it comes from the tradition of Moloka'i and John Kaimikawa. I was one of his students and he taught us a hula about the first loki on Moloka'i, Mo'ula. With that hula, it definitely would speak in praise of the place and the people, but beyond that, the hula itself was a lesson plan. It was a a ha'avina to help not only you. with the people that were in place at that time doing the deeds You're live on the internet the Pomo, but also to teach the next generation so that they can continue the effort This hula has built upon that and it is it's brought it into the modern age With this particular hula we are honoring Pui Kalo which is an effort by the Kalo growing communities throughout the islands trying to revive old Loki to connect people with the place and to revive that tradition of productivity in Momona. Again, with this hula, it's a, it's a lesson plan. With the 12 verses that we have, it speaks of getting, getting together, looking around, making observations, doing the science and the research, figuring out what needs to be done, hooking up our, our water resources with our land resources, being productive, Enjoying the fruits of our labor, with Ai at the end of it. With that manao, it's an expression of our culture, of my culture, and it's, it's a way to, to make it something that's practical, more than just a performance. We're very pleased to honor um, Kui Kalo today with this hula, and also QLCC, who has been instrumental with uh, the Hui Kalo effort. In particular, we'd like to honor Lilipu and Kalamai for our placement here, but we want to face Lilipu, uh, her home and her prison at the palace on the other side. So with that, uh, mahalo and aloha. See if I can get over on the other side, I'll lose my spot. get you closer to what's going on.
they found a way to keep you farmers drinking from their cup. They built their product right to the crop. Turned Mother Nature right to the shop. Now they can pass it all the food. But family farmers are too for the crime of saving their seed. Cheerleaders talk in not building of ending world starvation. But it ain't from lack of food, it's from economic segregation. They say genetic engineering is always going food. But we know it ain't the same, in fact, it's way more crude. It ain't science when you're aiming a gun. And break the DNA don't come undone. They're playing cowboy with the genes. Ignoring all the unforeseen risks they made A laboratory of the world And Hawaii is the number one genetically engineered seed exporter on the planet. Are you proud of that? See, if you go on the Hawaii Agricultural State website and you can look at the history of agriculture in Hawaii, and you see that in the 1960s, as Uncle Walter said, these corporations from other places started coming up and quietly buying up all the seed companies on Molokai. But they didn't change the signs, they didn't change the names, they didn't tell anyone. And they started quietly having meetings with the DLNR, and they started quietly gaining priority access to the water that belongs to all of us. And they started turning the soil way more and way more and pumping more and more chemicals and turning the islands into deserts because that's what these firms do. All they do is find markets for their poison. I know because I grow my own food and I don't use poison. Isn't that amazing? You don't need to use poison to grow food? Now 50 nations label transgenic Food. But out here in the U.S., the consumers get screwed. Didn't change the price of food to label it elsewhere. And now they're spending millions just to keep us unaware. This is the story of the GMO. It's on your plate and you probably don't know. There never was a dry run. Put on a grocery shelf, not one test to prove. Answers we are looking for are inside. I mean, I'll give you the quick answer to everything you want. 
the quick answer that you have the power to do today is to start growing your own food now. Really, and if you walk out of here and say, wow, that was awesome, I'm inspired, and I really, really am going to dedicate my life to trying to stop GMOs and end the PLDC, and you don't grow any food, you are part of the problem. You need to grow food because the corporations are coming in and filling a void. You're buying their food. We were at the, the UH event last night. In front of us is a family feeding their children GMO soybeans. So when you realize that you are the answer, you are the problem, that it's not these guys over here, or me, or the Hawaiians up here, or anyone, that you are the solution, that you are so incredibly powerful, and you don't worry about what everyone else is going to do. And that's why I'm not worried about all of this. I'm just singing about it. So please, use your power to the flow. I got one more song for you before we call up one of my favorite people in the entire world who came all the way from India. Gather round the farm. The time has come to sound off the alarm against the one who practices his song. Our right to grow and eat food without harm. From underneath the cloak of corporate law, the agribusiness attorneys do draw. For products that are flawed And once released can never be withdrawn We'll occupy the fields We'll occupy the courts We'll nullify the patents on our food We will feud Until we can grow seeds without being sued comes not from nature's lack. It comes from those with too much holding back. They use food as a weapon of attack to keep the current status quo intact. You enforce your monopolies on sea. By waging war against the common weed We subsidize your cheap and toxic feed It's all a game of greed disguised as need We'll occupy your fields We'll occupy the court We'll nullify the patents on our food We'll intrude Our planet was woven by a thread of infinite diversity, well fed. But DNA disrupted us instead. Results in crops and cattle dropping dead. You claim the safety of your GMOs, but of the real effects, nobody knows. The FDA regurgitates your probe, and what you cannot prove, you just suppose. We'll occupy the fields, we'll occupy the courts, we'll occupy the offices of you, till you do the bidding of the many, not the few. We'll occupy the fields, we'll occupy the courts, we'll nullify your patents on our food. We will feud, so we can grow.
proceeds without being sued. We are the many, and it's our food. Now that we've set our foundation, making our transition, we're going to go to the international level. We have a very special guest that flew in from Tokyo. She got into a snowstorm. We canceled her flight. She stood it out. She was determined to come into Hawaii. Nothing was going to stop her. But she made it to Hawaii. She spoke last night. I thought she was going to fall on her feet. She was so tired. She did what she was supposed to do. I didn't expect her to be up this morning. She got up this morning, determined to come here and share her mana with you. How about a huge round of applause for Vandana Shiva! In the world of freedom, everyone is a center. The earthworm doesn't say, I am the periphery of the fertilizer that's going to kill me. The earthworm does its free work to create fertile soils. We are, each of us, a center of a new world, which is our old world, our ancient world, the world of billions of years of evolution which Monsanto would like to scramble and destroy for its blindness, greed, stupidity. Because what could be more stupid than putting toxic genes into our food? Amen. I think it, it is progress. What could be more obscene than saying, after I put these toxic genes, I am the creator of life on earth, and now I will collect rents from nature, farmers, making us all poorer. This is a slavery system in new garb. Worse than any slavery that's ever been known. Because it is enslaving the future. It is enslaving nature. When the British left, we could continue life. Because at best, they had a few colonial chains. With Monsanto's GMOs, there is no reversal, which is why I'm so happy to be here with you, because I see Hawaii not as a place where I come and people say Monsanto is the biggest employer, but people say this land, its biodiversity, our cultural heritage is our biggest employer. The little children learning again how to make their own food was considered something that should be closed. We should live on junk food, GMOs, not knowing where our food comes from. In the making of your own food is the making of freedom. Just as Gandhi taught us in the spinning wheel, we spin freedom. 
in the taro processing and the work, you know, the human hand and the human mind has been made to look primitive. And the primitive mind of violence and war has been made to look our future, look at our future. We do not accept it. Our hands, our hearts, our minds will work in one unison across the world, across the world to liberate all life on earth, to create freedom for every seed, every child, every woman, every country. What Monsanto is bringing, you know, GMO, you could say genetically modified organism, but it is a whole set of relationships. It's about owning life. It's about committing genocide. 270,000 Indian farmers have committed suicide since Monsanto took over our cotton seed supply in 15 years. They come, they tell you what you do is primitive, give up your seeds. They then give you GMO seeds as the only option. They hijack our governments to say the only law that will be written will be a Monsanto law. We've got to reclaim our democracies. That is why it's so significant that you are here. The only thing Monsanto can bring us is a suicide economy for the farmers who've committed suicide, for our children whose future, being, future is being robbed, for the planet where we commit a planetary collective suicide in terms of wiping out our future. We will create Earth democracy. We will create Earth democracy. Our legislators will have to take instruction from the Earth from the children, from the future. And in Earth democracy, everything is connected. I did my PhD on an extremely esoteric subject, hidden variables and non-locality in quantum theory. But on the ground of it, it was about recognizing the fact that in a non-mechanical universe, which is the only universe where life is created, maintained, and replenished. Everything is interconnected, nothing can be separated. The future of Hawaii and the future of India is one future of liberation of the earth and all her species. And if anyone tells you, oh, you are an island far away in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, tell yourself and tell them, we are the center of the creation of a new freedom for all species, all cultures, all people. In India, Gandhi gave us the word Swaraj, the ability to govern yourself. When you govern yourself, you govern from within. You know your taro is the most beautiful plant and the most beautiful food. You don't get instruction from outside, forget it. We celebrate in the movement I started in India, our favorite foods are what we call forgotten foods. Because corporations, five corporations want to control our seed and food. Well, they can manage four or five crops. Humanity has dealt with 8,500 species, and each of them in diversity. The seed banks, we have created 3,000 varieties of rice. Rices that can tolerate flooding and salt tolerance with the cyclones. Kent is here who created amazing seed saving and has left such a legacy. We were told that diversity should disappear. What our message to Monsanto and governments is diversity will not disappear, it is the future. Diversity in itself organized freedom, diversity flourishing in mutual health, diversity weaving the web of life. The web of life is our politics of Earth's democracy, where every species matters, every child matters. We don't live in throwaway societies where it is assumed that two-thirds of humanity can be thrown into garbage heaps. Exactly what's happening right now in Europe. Where in Greece, you go to Greece, half of the people are unemployed. In Spain, in Italy, and I was recently in Italy where the president of the province of Rome 
that I've got to show you things that have been inspired by your work, Dr. Shiva. As the economy collapsed, gardens came up. Young unemployed youth became seed savers and organic gardeners. Gardening is our future, not GMOs. Freedom is our future, not seed slavery. You are the future and I am... You know, I've kind of overcome my long, torturous journey here. You made up for it, more than made up for it. And I go back with my, in my heart with a beautiful free Hawaii, a GMO free Hawaii, a, a Hawaii where Aloha Aina is not just a reference to the past, but it's the condition of the future. GMO is an issue that's brought to this house today. Last year, not even a hearing. This year, we are going to pass a GMO bill. Okay, we're going to go from GMO, and we're going to go to PLDC. And we're going to do it with some expert, Manao, that's going to explain to you what is going on, what has happened, and where we should be going. I want to introduce to all of you Mr. Hoosier, ex-senator, now council member from the island of Kauai, to speak to all of us about how we're going to repeal Act 55. All right, Gary Hoosier, everybody. Thank you. Aloha. I'm glad everybody, let's give a big hand for the prior speaker from all the way from India. And I'm going to be talking about, about the PLDC and about land use and about, about other things, but you know, I want to say we're all in this together, okay? Whether you're fighting to keep the country country, you're fighting to preserve Turtle Bay, you're, you're fighting for GMOs, for labeling, for PLDC, to stop the windmills, to do geothermal properly, we're all in this together, okay? I want to say aloha to my friends from Kauai. I'm from Kauai. Let's say, say hello to my friends from Kauai, from Maui, from Hawaii County. We're all in this together, okay? No matter what issue, you know, whether you're from India, whether you're from Hawaii, whether you're from the United States, we're all in this together. We need to stick together and move forward, okay? So we, first of all, we want to label GMOs, okay? Label GMOs. Okay, what's up with that? What's wrong with that? Okay, does it hurt anybody? Does it, you know, it's reasonable. Let's do it. Let's ask our legislators to do that. You know, all these things have a common theme. And as I, as I was thinking last night what that common theme was, I have two things. One is putting people first. Okay, GMO companies, chemical companies, pharmaceutical companies, they do not put people first. They put money first. Okay, big money... Big corporations control our elections. They control our food supply. They control our medical care. Okay, they control our banking system. And now they want to control our public lands to the PLDC. Okay? The PLDC is a law that's in place now that allows for the development of public lands all over the state of Hawaii. Okay, public lands, that means our beaches, our parks, our mountains. Okay, are we going to let them do that? No! Okay, we're going to repeal the PLDC. Can you say repeal? Repeal! Can you say it louder? Repeal! Repeal! One more time, repeal! Repeal! Label! Label! Repeal! Repeal! Label! Label! Repeal! Repeal! Thank you.
We need to do that. We need to take that message in small ways and in big ways, okay? We need to take that message upstairs to the rooms of our legislators. And, and most of those men and women up there are our friends on these issues. They may have supported it. A lot of them didn't know what they, what they were voting on. A lot of them were having second thoughts. So I encourage you, treat your House members and your Senators as your friends and allies. Ask them for your, their help and support. Knock on their doors. See them face to face. Tell them what's important to you. Ask for their help. Ask them to label GMOs. Repeal PLDC. Imua, thank you very much. Aloha. Okay, the next speaker is, is, is really, really interesting for me, and I think it's really, really interesting for you. All of us are trying to come together, and there are people out there that have been organizing themselves for years. They call themselves unions. There's all kinds of unions, carpenter unions and all kinds of unions. And we've never made a really connection with the unions before, because they were very narrow in their scope, making sure of, of the Gankuliana. And right now, there's one union that is expanding and becoming involved in community kinds of things, community affairs, expanding their focus, it's not being so narrow. And the reason why, the thing that tipped the scale was the PLDC. So I'd like to ask a representative from Local 5, the union here in Hawaii, to come up and share a little bit of Manao about how and why the unions now in Hawaii are beginning to support the kinds of things that the people here are supporting. So, Fernando Khan will come up and, and, and share a few words about the reasons why the unions are now trying to get involved and support the things that we're supporting here. Aloha. Aloha. Why, in the essence of time, I'm going to read my message to you. But you know what? Let's sustain Hawaii from foods that are or foods that are free of GMO, right? Right. Let's also sustain Hawaii with good jobs. Corporations are coming here. My, big money people are coming here, run our lives here. They take advantage of our aloha, our generosity, and they're not responsible enough to also promise us what is it then in return of our nice weather. Nice people, They're destroying our islands. So I'm proud to be here with all of you, you inspired us. Um, I am Hernando Tan, President of United Here Local 5, uh, uh, a union that represents hotel workers, healthcare workers, food service workers throughout our state. The PLDC today is an opportunity. We're here today not just to join in the call to repeal what is the most, the worst piece of legislation passed in recent years, but to also urge all of us to organize, to come together and unite our people, build our power and change the world. The world we live in is full of challenges and obstacles, but there's one thing that we've learned as an organization, an organization of this, that, that is proud of standards that we've built in making good jobs in Hawaii, in the major industries, which is tourism, so that our kids can go to school and where we can live in full and productive life. Show it live. Well, we're we're right. we're working out our 2013 Baby Grand well, Biotech we're calendar. We're here, here with us from the Pearl Mrs. Summer Aubrey Marie. Time. We just we can't like organize ourselves. Stand with us, so we're going yeah. crazy. We're picking up clothes off. Yeah. 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 So that you pay attention. Yeah. We're like, we're like, yeah. we're like yeah. do -do -do. let's go, get up. We have to organize and feel a real movement. Thank you. Where's the, your, uh, the URL? Where's the URL? Uh, you can also visit omggmowts.com. Thank you. <laughs> no me. The service of the people. And that's why I'm very excited to be here. This past year, we provide help on such a movement. We call it IKEA. We stand for healthy communities. 
that our economy is sustainable and put people before profit. It is unacceptable that our people are being pushed off our islands because they cannot afford a home for their families. It is unacceptable that our people are robbed and sold them while developers are being given handouts. That's an epic sign. <laughs> Let's walk around here. Oh, there's no money. Let's walk around and see what's going on. We uh, looked at the uh, poi pounders earlier. I'm thinking of going uh, upstairs. You know what? Let's go upstairs and see what this crowd looks like. Uh, from upstairs, what do you think? We might cut out as we go inside the... Oh, look at this! Alright, an LGMO stuff? Oh, man! Oh, look at this! Non-GMO vegetarian food. Is that, is that good or what? Wow. <laughs> well, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to go upstairs so we can look around. Here we go. We might cut out because we don't have bandwidth. Okay. There we go. Let's go up to two. Are you guys going to visit senators or what? Oh, no. no. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to. I was going to tag along and hear. Who's the senator from your area? Slow-mo, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't go in that I shouldn't be a wise guy. Sam Slum is like the lone Republican, I think. It's <laughs> uh also opening day of the legislature, which is why the march. Uh, the uh, central crowd has dissipated somewhat, but we can see the... Uh, there were uh, 500 people on the... Uh, March itself, and probably at least that many uh, waiting here, probably about a thousand people at least, um, to ask for a GMO labeling, and uh, repeal of Act 55. Stage back there. There's the uh, there's the float from the uh, march down there. Second floor is senators, third floor is uh, representatives, and above that, various offices. Legislative Reference Bureau. And there is Michael Daly. Hey, you're live on the internet. GMO. <laughs> Very good. No more GMO. Ryan Taniguchi, actually, this is a senator from Nine District. Oops, the door just closed. You know what? I'm uh, been live streaming uh, for several hours, and you know, really, more than anything, what I'm looking for is a water fountain. So, it's 
excuse uh, me. Oh, and the men's room. But of course, I don't need to go to the men's room. Well, I think uh, thanks for sticking with me on the march here. The uh, GMO labeling march. Actually, the march was calling for uh, labeling of GMOs and the uh, repeal of the PLDC. Had groups uh, from all over, a lot of uh, Native Hawaiian Kanaka Maoli groups. <laughs> as well as a contingent from Deoccupy Honolulu, which is in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street and has the most enduring encampment uh, in the entire uh, Occupy movement, has endured 55 raids. It's situated in the uh, historic Thomas Square. where uh, Kawikea Uli, Kamehameha III, uttered what became the state motto, Uamaokea Okaina Ikapono, the sovereignty of the land continues in perpetuity. I'm going to sign out. Um, you might want to stick with me something comes up, I'll start. Um, you can follow me on uh, hdug, at hdug on Twitter, hdoug. I may go get something to eat. And uh, from here, it's a 30-minute uh, uh, walk home for me. Uh, and I'll stream that. No, I'm kidding, I won't. You can watch me uh, having a beer which I'm kind of looking forward to, and it is past noon. I wonder, well, let's, you know, if I'm going to leave you, I, I, I'll leave you downstairs. So let's, let's walk downstairs again. We'll see what's going on. I was actually thinking it might be nice to visit some senators. Last year's... Uh, anti uh, GMO labeling bill got stuck in the agriculture committee when the uh, chair of the ag committee wouldn't forward the bill which is pretty insane I think there is a elevator here That's good enough. I'm waiting for an elevator. We might cut out in the elevator, but something going on here. Looks kind of like commercial media. Can't tell. Whoops. State Capitol, if you were, if you've been with me, uh, we started off around eight this morning. We marched out here. Here we go. We might lose some connectivity while I'm in the uh, elevator. I'm live on the internet. <laughs> it's pretty good in the elevator. Yeah, okay. Which isn't public, which is why I'm not showing you guys. 
I'll get out first see if we do. Okay, we're back down here. These guys are uh, state, not police, I think they're sheriff's office. I'm Doug and you're live on the internet. Any, anything you want to say to people? Uh, live from the Capitol, opening the day. <laughs> Repeal the PLDC. Repeal the PLDC. Very good, thank you. <laughs> This looks good. I'm going to catch these guys up. Why is one approved for the cause of our sacred Mauna? And if we let that happen, we may as well just say, take it all. And are we ready to say that? I hope not, because I'm not. And in 2011, my family, the Flores Case Ohana, we stepped in and we said no. And you know what, you guys? It wasn't like we woke up in the morning and say, hey, how about we get involved with a contested case hearing? You guys ever did that, my people? You guys ever woke up in the morning and said, why don't we just, what do we do today? Well, let's get ourselves involved in a contested case hearing. Well, let me tell you, getting involved in that case, I learned a great deal, and what I really learned was that the system is not on our side. The system is not Currently. set up for us to be successful. You're live on the internet. It's not. Oh, I'm the the <laughs> that every How's the food? Turn it's delicious, especially that stuff. So it's it's a vegetarian chili. Are. I'm not it's sure what it is, but it's right, right, there. right now. Really good salad. I'm going to go What's get some. What's happening right now is after a year. Organic. The All hearing right. officer Thank you. returns <laughs> the verdict after the contested case hearing. And yes, okay, I'm the cutting PMT out. is approved for the top of our Thank mouth. Thank you even for though, being here. And uh, we send anything starts shaking, I'm going to come back on. Of Dr. 